Tossy, nice to see you. Let's start by looking back at that Everton game then. Um, a disappointing yeah. Can you take heart from the performance? Yeah, obviously it was a disappointing result, um, but I felt like we were in the game um, pretty much. A lot a lot of the game we were in the game. Um, obviously not the result we wanted, but another good performance and hopefully we can just work on from now. Yeah, it's another tight defeat, isn't it? Do you yeah. feel like on the right tracks? No. Yeah, we're definitely on the right track. Just a few, obviously just a few errors uh, leading to the results, leading to a few goals. Um, that we need to put right and hopefully get some results going forward. What about you yourself? Then you've been here since the start of October. How are you settling in? Yeah, I felt like I've settled in pretty well um, so far, and I'm enjoying my time here. And hope, hopefully, it just gets better. Take me back to that West Brom game. Then, what was that like? Your first Premier League win as a player. I mean, is that is that one sense that? Almost like a target achieved. You get that one under your belt first. Well, now you say it's the first Premier League winner. I didn't even think about that. Um, it was just the the, the first win um, for us, and I just wanted. I was really pleased to get the three points in the day, and obviously a, a clean sheet. So it was just a great performance from the team. But moments like that must be absolutely massive for you. A young player who no doubt dreamt of playing in the Premier League. You know, you, you make a few starts, this five appearances already in a short space of time. You must feel like you personally are in a really good place right now. Um, like I said, that wasn't in my mindset. I was literally just thinking about um, what's, what's best for the team and, and we got the points in the day and I was pleased for that. Just got to meet yeah. uh, What's it like then making the move from Manchester to London? Talk us through that. Um, I'm fine. Uh, all, all being well. Obviously, we've been in lockdown uh, most of it, but I'm, I've settled well. Um, I'm enjoying my time here. How are you finding playing under Scott Parker as well? Talk to me a little bit about that. Uh, he's got lots of ideas, lots of ideas that I, that I like to play under, um, and I'm really enjoying playing under him so far. Because, I mean, he's a manager, isn't he, that's proven in the Premier League, played for a number of, of top high-end clubs as well. When you're playing under top that has been there and done it in the Premier League, how much inspiration does that give you? Yeah, he's had a, he had a great career. Um, obviously, he knows the game, he knows the Premier League better than anyone else here. Um, so, whenever he talks, you listen and you try to get as much experience from him as you can. I mentioned the fact that you've had a couple of tight defeats, but performances are looking good at the moment. What do you think is slightly missing? What's the difference between turning those, those draws or those couple of narrow defeats into win? Um, I think we just have to be more, a bit more nasty as a team um, and solely fo focus on, on getting the job, job done. Um, I'd rather get the job done and, than, and play poorly than play, play well and not get the points that we need. Is that the feeling amongst the rest of the, the squad as well, would you say, in terms of that, that sense of aggression or nastiness? Yeah, I'd say so. Um, we all just know we need to be, we need to be ruthless defending our goal and, and getting at the, at the opposition's goal. Um, we all know that's what we need to do. Let's look ahead to the, uh, the Leicester City game. What have you made of them from the outside so far this season? Um... Not had much time to look on to Leicester yet. Uh, we obviously just been reviewing the Everton game, looking back at that and seeing how we can improve. And we've got a, we've got a bit of a wait till Monday evening now to to prepare for Leicester. How difficult is it when you're playing against a side that have just come off the back of a, a fairly sort of comprehensive defeat? Because they'll be looking for for a bounce back, won't they? Yeah, definitely. Um, it'll be a tough game. For because both both of us have just come back on the back of a defeat, so we'll both be looking to grab some points. And it would seem, OK, this game may come a, a little bit early, but at some stage we are going to be playing in front of fans again. I mean, as a player, you must just be absolutely licking your lips at that time, particularly in the Premier League. Yeah, definitely. It'll get that atmosphere back into the stadiums um, and give us an extra push as players. How different has it been not playing in front of fans? Uh, you, you can feel the difference. A lot of players can feel the difference. Uh, obviously, the the fans give you an extra push during the game. Uh, they help with momentum. So, the the loss has been well. You can feel that loss, and you just have to get that from each other on the pitch.